Sports have a way of not only producing incredible moments, but also creating lasting relationships. This year's Community Heroes forged a rare bond that defines what friendship is all about. When I first met Tony, he was in first grade, and I was looking through my class, and then I see this kid, and he's kicking my butt in everything we do. As we moved up, we uh, continued to be friends. We hung out a lot, uh, shared some of the same hobbies, uh, some rivalry and some other things, and sports and things like that, so you could be the best at a certain thing. And uh, that's kind of how our friendship just sparked, and it was kind of like a, an instant thing. Their friendship would be tested as both boys would be diagnosed with cancer within one year of one another. He was playing in an all-star tournament in Brandon, and uh, a couple days before that, he had told me that he had a little bit of a headache, and, you know, we gave him Motrin, and the day went on, and nothing else happened. And about a week after uh, the tournament, we were home. It was um, July 26th, and he comes to me and tells me that he's got a really bad headache, and I need to get Kyle in for an MRI. And, you know, 24 hours later, he was at uh, All Children's Hospital having emergency brain surgery, and it was... Sorry, I hate going back to that, but it was, it was terrifying. I was 10 years old and I was diagnosed in August of 2010. When I first got diagnosed with cancer, Tony was the first one to step up and say, Kyle, I'm gonna shave my head for you. And that was just, warmed my heart instantly. Uh, after every single camp, I would get sick. And then finally one day after we were done with camp, we went home, I laid down, rested, and then I felt a sharp pain in my uh, right abdomen area. We went to the uh, local hospital, had some scans done, and they said that something was wrong with my uh, kidney. They were gonna send me to a specialist at All Children's Hospital. I was diagnosed with, uh, well, it's undefined or undifferentiated sarcoma about a month after Kyle was told that he was cancer free. When Tony was diagnosed with cancer, I was just heartbroken. First of all, I never thought that I was gonna get it. Then how in the world could my best friend get it? That makes no sense whatsoever. It was a, a rough time, but to know that Kyle was there beside me, just as I was for him, helped me get through that specific time when I was first diagnosed. During their respective battles, those closest to the boys witnessed a rare combination of courage, strength, and compassion. Those two boys have really forged an amazing friendship and um, something that I think is very rare. And I think both of their families have tried really hard to let them experience uh, normal things that boys their age do who don't have who don't have cancer because you know I mean sometimes the future is uncertain and you want to do as many things with your kids as you possibly can. And when he was done with his four rounds of chemo, he did 20. Uh, rounds of radiation to the entire brain. We found out that he was in, in remission uh, June 11th of 2011. Kyle, I'm proud of you. I see you grow up into a, a, a young man that I couldn't be more proud of. Tony, my man, keep the faith, babe. You are, you are an amazing young man, and again, you have proven time and time again, even before you face this challenge, what an amazing person you are, and you continue to be. I have him know that his friends, his family, his uh, fellow cancer patients are praying for him. I think Kyle and I are, for the most part, positive. You can't really go into a situation like this not being positive. The outcome just won't be the same. 